Cave Interiors, we're recording, not happy about it, let's do it. Alright brothers and sisters, I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, simple as taking a satellite dish from a bear's cave? No. Well, the time has come. Only instead of simple, it'll probably be extremely complicated and cost many lives. Ooh. So, let's get started. We'll start in the caves at the bottom of the cliff. No climbing, I like it already. Glad you approve. Eventually, we'll come to an underground river. We follow this nice, swooping curve of scenic, high-resolution underground caverns right underneath Vincent the Bear's old den. Um, hi. Quick question. He's not there, right? The hungry, angry bear who hates us? Burn, please. Do you honestly think I'd recklessly endanger our lives with some harebrained scheme? I scouted it out just the other day. It was cold and cobwebby. Desolate. Uh, which day was this again? I told you. The other one. Now we'll come back about halfway up the mountain. The bear we're not supposed to feed. Burn, I scouted it, or meant to, whatever. Now, if I can continue, from here, we just head up the mountain to the den, grab the satellite dish, then head back. How exactly we planning on carting some big giant dish all the way down that mountain? Worry, worry, that's all you worry warts do. Onward! Echo, echo, echo! Maybe we ought to hold off on the fun with acoustics till we're sure this cave's actually bearless. Good one! I mean, what's in it for the bear outside of a full belly and our delicious taste? Okay. So this level mainly consists of, well, combat. Because I want to get this over as fast as possible, I'm not in a completionist mood today. I'm not going to be fighting a lot of these things because you can skip a majority of the encounters in this game. You don't have to fight a lot of stuff. Like, this right here, you can bring a laptop back to the loot zone. I did it in the other video I did. I fought everything off, which made it about 30 minutes. So in this video, I'm not going to do that because, I mean, you can fight them off if you want to. It's the same strategies I've been employing through you, through you for you this entire time. But uh, other than that, I'm not going to actually fight them because I don't need to for this. I'm going to get this done as quick as possible so I can be done with it. Um, but feel free to... Try, feel free to take them out on your own, but I'm just not going to be doing it for this video because I did it once, I do it on my own time, I just don't want to have to waste time today trying to redo what I did for the recording session last time. Oh, I missed. Fire away. Can I? Fire. I guess I can't fire at you. We'll do this instead. Never mind. All right. Thank you. I'm going to restock. An ammo. Alright, pick up some of the chips to get my health back up. But don't worry, I'm not going to be this non-chipper for, for the rest of this walkthrough, just for this episode. And then tomorrow, you'll see the regular old chipper me, because I didn't have to re-record that episode. Armadillos, basic strategy for these guys is use your long resistance attack to get them in an upright position. Once they are in an upright position, spam your melee attack on them until they fall but there you can't use your melee attack on them when they're in a balled up position so you have to use your long ranged attack to get them out of that balled up position and once they're out of said balled up position just use your um, melee attack to do the rest fun fun story um there used to be a lot of armadillos outside our house that tried to bury to bury underneath and every morning it seemed like there was a new hole of an armadillo trying to get its way into the house or maybe maybe they weren't trying to get into the house but they were trying to dig under for some purpose, we just don't know what. And I always just associated them with this game. I don't know, well, I mean, I know why, but anyway. <sighs> okay. To do, but yeah, I, I'm not going to be this much in a downer mood for the rest of the walkthrough, just for this episode, and then I'll, I'll be back to the old chipper me. Alright, TNT, blow it up. You can bring that back if you want to, but I'm not going to, as I mentioned, so I can get this done as quickly as possible. It's a secondary objective about breaking 50 rock pillars, but they're not going to show up, I don't believe, because I already broke all of them in my last run, but um, basically they're going to be small pillars that you can break, and so long as you hit every single one in an area, you don't have to go and find them, it's just in every major combat area, so break all those and you'll be fine. No major strategy I can employ there. Shovel. Gotcha. Okay. Like, in here, there would be a whole bunch of, bunch of rock pillars, but because I got, got, got them all last time, they're not going to show up for this run, which is another one of the annoyances of having to re-record for this game. Alright. Can I open this? Thank you. Okay. Uh, rats. Pretty basic stuff. Oh, 
Lovely. Okay. Honestly, the, the cave heist or the Vincent heist or whatever you want to call it is probably my least favorite out of the entire game. Um, the next heist isn't my least favorite. It's just the longest. It's got five levels, um, just opposed to your regular three or four. And so that's a that's a that's a new one right there. It's got five juxtaposed to four or three. Um, but I don't I don't dislike it, but I don't love it either. I'm kind of halfway down the middle. I enjoy the individual gameplay mechanics. It's just the escape that I despise with a fiery, fiery passion. And part three to some extent. But anyway, that's for a different day. I have a fire gun on me. What happens with a fire gun, you say? Well, I can burn them up. As you can see, it's pretty effective. Well, unless you miss. Vince is even bigger than I remembered. I like pretzels. Yo, we're friends of Vincent. Why'd you go calling him for us? Would you show up, Stat? That friend's more like how I feel toward this stalagmite. Wasn't he the one who wanted us to come by for dinner that one time? You're right. I'm starving. Let's take him up on it. Aim for the bear! Alright, be sure to restock on ammo for this section and then just blast away with your fire gun. Most effective strategy, but if you don't have a fire gun, then just use your melee attack on him. Alright. Uh, again, just gonna be skipping past most of this. You'll find collectibles along the way. I believe there's even a hard hat up here, or a lemon hat or whatever. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Hello! Hi, yourself, choice. But it would appear that I missed something in my most in my other playthrough. There's a chip container up here. Didn't expect that one. Alright. 24 rats. And I wish this of all episodes I wished or this of all the videos I wish wasn't corrupted because there was a really intense battle towards the end. But I wish that it hadn't gotten corrupted, but what do you know? It did. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Let's do this thing. Let's dance here. It's you, and 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 you. Oh, hey, bear. How you doing? Okay, if you remember, this, we're, we're, there's only 24 rats, so you don't need to worry about the gophers or the bear cub or anything. I mean, you know, it's always nice to take out the bear cub immediately so you don't have to worry about them later. But the gophers, don't really need to worry about them because the only thing that's getting counted here are the rats. Although, you might have to actually defeat these things in order to queue the next series of rats. Okay, yeah, so that's what you have to do. You do have to worry about them. Never mind, disregard my previous statement. Oh, darn it. Freeze ray. Freeze ray is always helpful. Got it. Okay. Got your rat. Come here, rats. Got you. Just five more. Come on. You. Hey. Come on. One more. And that's you. Alright, once you do that, blow up the TNT barrels and you can proceed on to the next section. Alright. And in the next section, we're going to have a long string of rats that we need to deal with along the river. can't reach, and I'll hit the ones you can reach. Fire. Fire. Sadly, the freeze ray is rather ineffective against these guys because it, you can't aim very well with it, so it doesn't reach the elevation of the rats. Line yourself up. Thank you. Oh, can we just keep moving? We can just keep moving. Shoot. And then you, and all that I'll get. Oh, for crying out loud, I hate the freeze ray. Oh, get you, and get them with the freeze ray. They're always the biggest threats. Get with you, and then you. Oh, this is so monotonous. They don't like this. They don't like this high store level. 
Ugh. Alright. Come at me. Get you. And then get you. Oh. Hey, friend. Oh. Guess we need to do some more. Is it? Get you. Three more. It's one. That's two. And that is 20 seconds. And I believe that's it. I think that's the final. I think that's it. Yeah. Hooray for everything! Now let's find a way through this mountain. Don't worry, I brought my lucky digging spoon. Alright, we're done.